so with the uh, like lecture one part of your experiment two, I think you got an idea, right, on uh, uh, how we can uh, how, about an idea about overcurrent relay, right? To some extent, you know what is meant by overcurrent relay, what is the purpose of it, and all, right? So now uh, with this lecture, I am going to give you a picture about how can you execute this experiment using virtual lab. Okay, virtual power lab. We have already used it. So same thing we are again going to use here. Okay. So um, let us uh, see uh, uh, one by one. Okay. So first, I think yeah, you are you will be able to uh, see uh, this screen, right? So um, now. Uh, so in this uh, second experiment, uh, let us uh, see uh, this relay diagram. I, I, I already explained it, right? What is meant by we have an input current and our output is the trip output and we, uh, what is meant by time over current relay. Okay. As uh, you can clearly see in this connection diagram, okay, the on, on your this side, you can see the connection diagram, I, uh, I believe. So uh, here in this connection diagram, mm, uh, as it is uh, visible visible here, uh, you have this iron core, okay, you have this iron uh, core here. So, uh, this iron core is having a shaded nature and here, uh, this line uh, showing here, this is your, uh, this is your uh, disc, okay, this is an aluminium disc uh, and uh, under, uh, it is placed under the shaded ball. What the shaded ball does is that it produces a uh, change in the uh, magnetic flux linkages understood so there will be a magnet change in magnetic flux linkage so that on your disk there will be two for uh, whenever uh, uh, this magnetic flux linkage is changed uh, anyhow you have connected something here and due to this you have uh, current formation in the al aluminum disk and whenever you have a change in the uh, magnetic flux linkages there will be the uh, two currents and there will be a force uh, the force will not be in equilibrium i think you are understanding the force will not be in equilibrium and there will be a net force particularly when you have such a uh, high amount of current here understood so due to that force this uh, aluminium uh, coil will uh, rotate and that rotation is the cause for a, a deflecting torque understood so uh, whenever your current the uh, current rises to a very high value then definitely this aluminium disc is going to rotate okay so uh, uh, from where it is like uh, there is a, in a for a trip contact you have what you have a static contract which is the this, uh, trip contact uh, here and you have another contact which is the mobile contact as shown here so when your aluminium foil is rotating this mobile contact is attached to the uh, same handle so this mobile contact will rotate and it will come and test with this what this trip uh, contract so that your circuit breaker starts it, uh, its action so th that is what usually happens but that is a deflecting torque in order to control that we have what we have a uh, uh, controlling torque which is provided by this thing attached understood so uh, you will have a tension uh, uh, that way so and for damping you for the da purpose of damping you have this permanent magnet also placed here okay just similar to a uh, uh, a uh, mo moving uh, uh, coil type or moving iron type uh, meter okay so similar is this thing here and uh, as you can see here we have two controls here one is what one is the plex setting and another one is the time setting value for plex setting you are changing the number of turns as you can see here if we want to apply for 3 ampere we will give here if we apply to apply for 0.5 ampere we will give very number of uh, we will change the number of turns accordingly as per our need and in order to set the time stamp you have this tms adjustment dial what what does the TMS adjustment do? So for uh, in order this mobile contact should move up to the, this all distance and test the trip contact. Once you uh, your uh, this uh, uh, this coil uh, sorry this this start rotating. So if your mobile contact means what if your TMS uh, bring is there. So if it is uh, one second. If this mobile contact is here, uh, you can see the TMS adjustment dial on top, right? So, uh, as you can see, this adjustment dial, what it does is that here we have this backstop thing here. So, when, when you decrease the TMS, what happens is that this uh, mobile co contact at uh, the initial position, it might be somewhere, it might be somewhere here. So, it will take lesser time for this uh, mobile contact to move to the trip contact when uh, 
uh, uh, your relay is activated. Okay, so this backstop when we decrease TMS, the mobile contact will its initial position will come down. So that is the way this uh, relay is working. Okay, just for your understanding, you can read more about that from your uh, reference books. Okay, now in the simulation, what we are going to do is that we will vary the plug setting and uh, multiplier, and we will see what is the difference. And another way is that we will vary the TMS and identify the difference in operating time. Mainly, we will concentrate on what our concentration will be ma mainly on the TMS variation rather than plex setting. Okay. Plex setting means what? If a relay is uh, plex setting is 3 ampere, it means that it will operate above the 3 ampere current. If it is 5 ampere, it means that it will operate above 5 ampere. So, there is not much to understand, but about TMS, we should understand to understand the IDMT characteristic or the inverse definite minimum time characteristic. Okay. In your observation, we will be sticking with only one plex setting, which is how much. It will be 2.5 ampere plex setting. That is due to the limitation in this uh, virtual lab pl platform. Okay. Uh, in reality, we can do any other way. And uh, with respect to plex setting, you can apply the values of what like plex setting multiplier you can give, and uh, you will get the relay uh, relay current values can be noted down. Okay. Uh, it means uh, uh, this is the plex setting multiplier value, and uh, the relay current means what? Relay current means uh, whatever like, the input current we are giving. We will be varying this relay current and we will observe what, what is the uh, operating time needed. Okay. So, plex setting is, is uh, set and what plex setting multiplier also uh, we will, uh, uh, it will be set once we set the plex setting. Okay. And uh, plex setting multiplier we can choose based on what, based on the relay current. Then we will apply different relay current. Okay. And uh, see what is, uh, see, uh, and we, we will change our plex setting multiplier accordingly. Like I have done here 1.1123456. Okay. And, uh, so, and uh, with this, we will note down the operating time also. Okay. This is for a particular value of what? A particular value of uh, TMS. Understood. So, uh, for the three, T uh, we will take it for three TMS values. Means we will change. Now that we will uh, see in the part. And I will also share the uh, uh, lab manual of this experiment too with you. So, that it will be easier for you. Okay. So, uh, now let us uh, get back to the. Now, uh, let us uh, get back to our, uh, the, what I can say, the virtual lab part of this uh, thing. And uh, what about this, uh, 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 what about this virtual lab part? Okay. Uh, the, well, in the virtual lab portion, what we are going to see is, okay, it is uh, this thing. Yeah. So, hmm. Let us see, uh, see how uh, we can simulate this. So for that, let us take this. Uh, we were using uh, virtual lab, right? We were using virtual lab uh, till uh, this time. So same software we, uh, is pre preferred here. And uh, in the virtual lab platform, <coughs> uh, you have to take the experiment corresponding to our current relay, our current relay, TMS and PMS setting. Inside that, under simulation, you will find this thing. And if you click this simulation of our current relay, then you will come to uh, this session. Okay. So in this uh, experiment, uh, uh, it is dealt in two ways. Okay. One is that first, let us understand what is the uh, uh, what happens when we change the plex setting. Like now, 2.5 ampere is the plex setting, and if I give some current which is above 2.5 ampere, like I am giving 3.2 ampere. For this 2.5 ampere. Okay. So what is plex setting multiplier? Plex setting multiplier is 3.2 divided by 2.5. Right. That is my uh, plus setting multiplier. So it is around like let me say around 1.5 times or something. So uh, this top clock uh, tells us how much time it is taking for to move from <laughs> how much time it is taking uh, to uh, move from what to move from uh, this place. This is what this corresponds to the, the backstop and this corresponds to the trip contact. Okay. Once it reaches uh, this position, the, this mobile contact uh, uh, came from here to uh, here. Right. This mobile contact came from here to here. Okay. How much time it has to? That is the operating time and that is 31.8 seconds in this case. Right. That is 31.8 seconds in this uh, case. So, now what we will do now that is for uh, that is for what that is for uh, 2.5 ampere of flex setting right 
so i am going back to the same initial position if i reduce current it will go to the initial position now if i change the flux setting multiplier to 5 ampere let us say then what then i increase the uh, current to what 5 means uh, let me let us increase it to 10 ampere so that what will happen it will be around it will be like flux setting multiplier is 2 okay it is the two times the whatever be the flux setting or above which your relation operates and how much time it is taking it is taking 14.8 seconds right so with when we change flux setting uh, flux setting then it will change the current uh, after which your relation operate okay that is quite clear now now what we are going to see is uh, Uh, this uh, uh, what now we are uh, what we are now going to see is that uh, in this uh, figure uh, now our main uh, uh, what what we are looking at uh, we are looking at uh, the effect of tms okay so for conducting that experiment we will uh, fix our flux setting to uh, 2.5 ampere only so that is because of the problem with this setup that it cannot go beyond 15 ampere or when you take flux setting it cannot go above like seven times and all even if it is 2.5 ampere right so uh, just because of that uh, we are uh, setting the flux setting at 2.5 ampere in all the cases and we will see what is the difference it makes when your time setting is changes okay so first let us increase the time setting to a position like uh, 10 10 in the clock okay uh, approximately 10 10 in the clock and Uh, the, by this you are placing the T you are increasing the TMS so that your relay operating time will be higher. Right, you are increasing the TMS so that your relay operating time will be higher. So here now my flux setting is 2.5 ampere and let us say uh, uh, we have just uh, we have a current which is just below the uh, above the flux setting value or let us say it is 1.1 uh, one is flux setting or we are applying how much we are applying <coughs> 2.8 ampere let let us say. so with 2.8 ampere it will take some time to reach to the uh, trip contact or that is the relay operating time which is recorded with this stop clock here right i think you are seeing that so with that if we uh, if, uh, since it is getting recorded let us see how much time it takes it will take some time okay so uh, you have to wait okay it will let us take it it took for 50 seconds okay okay well, let us wait or should you wait no it will let us say it, it took around 50 or 60 seconds at that position now i am decreasing the current so that uh, what will happen it will go back to its initial position as there and now i am increasing the current and or i am i am increasing the flux setting multiplier now this is not 2.5 i am putting it to be how much i am putting it to be 5 ampere so that it is two times so flux setting multiplier is how much uh, two times okay now let us see how much time it is going to take if it was taking 50 seconds for the first time this time it is not going to take that much time because your severity of fault has increased this we have this characteristics we have already discussed in the first part of the lab lecture and see this uh, now it will take uh, let us say first it was taking 50 seconds now it is only going to take how many seconds it is going to take 26.8 uh, seconds once at the relay is operating that is indicated by this indicator as you can uh, see here right now again i will decrease the current again i will change the flux setting multiplier to 3 4 and 5 okay when it is let us let us say when it is uh, four times the uh, four is flux setting multiplier it means that you you should apply relay current of how much you should apply a relay current current of 10 ampere right 2.5 into 4 uh, how much it is it is 10 so when your flux setting multiplier is 10 or uh, your uh, sorry is 4 or your current is 10 ampere how much time it will take let us see okay let me apply 10 ampere and let us see how much time it is taking it is only taking 11 point sorry 12 seconds right so like this you change your flux setting multiplier from uh, 1.11 to around 6 or 7 up to like from uh, 2.6 amperes to 15 amperes relay current and note down the operating but note down your uh, operating time okay now one, uh, the, like this you will get around let me say you took six readings and you got for this corresponding tms you got a particular read now uh, what i am going to do uh, uh, you you got one observation table like this that which, which i will be uh, share, uh, sharing with you the complete manual of experiment to uh, with this uh, material okay so now i reduce this current okay now it it is going back to its initial initial position once it is in that position once it reached to that position now i am going to decrease the time setting this is my what first time setting 
now let us take like a nine nine o'clock position like this okay under this position again what i will do i will give different flexiting multiplier let me let me say uh, first i gave 2.6 same i next next i will give give how much 5 ampere or flexiting multiplier is 2 okay with this i will get another uh, uh, reading or uh, in the stop clock how much it is so this way you will get what this is for tms2 okay here we don't have a value for the time setting or time setting multiplier just we know that tms1 is greater than tms2 and which is greater than tms3 so that that way we are going to operate it okay now once you take six readings for this set again continue the same continue the same uh, in a, a way by reducing the time setting to another value like uh, around seven o'clock position as you can see here okay so i will call uh, this as the seven o'clock position under this condition you again change the flex setting multiplier or you increase the relay current to 2.65 10 uh, 5 7.5 10 12.5 and 15 amperes and may take the current okay now what you will get what you will get is uh, a curve like this let us see <clears throat> okay let us say uh, uh, this is the x-axis and uh, uh this is my y axis okay one is x axis and another one is y axis and in the x axis uh, what i am going to do is that this will be my uh, sorry this will be my flex setting multiplier it means it will vary from 1 2 3 4 5 up to 6 and on the other uh, in the y axis uh, what i am going to do is what i will uh, uh, write my operating type right so this is my uh, 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 this is my operating time and this is my flex setting multiplier so under that condition i will have a, i will have a curve right the curve will show what this we already discussed the curve will show an exponentially decaying curve let us say this is for the first curve or whenever your tms is quite higher if you take tms to be lesser you will get a curve below this and if you get again below that you will again get what a curve below this okay so uh, you will get, get this id empty characteristics or the inverse definite minimum time characteristics uh, from uh, for this particular uh, uh, from this experiment and you have to plot that with that your experiment will be complete okay so here you are doing two things one is what one you are studying the effect of uh, plex setting that you will just see and then you will really analyze the effect of what the time setting or the time multiplier setting here okay here you have three tms and accordingly you will get the three curves like this so total 18 18 readings will be there uh, per uh, per set six each and this way you will be able to understand the effect of tms okay. as i already said uh, here by adjusting time setting means what you are in the dial uh, that uh, that we discussed uh, just before in the dial this is the backstop uh, position where you are adjusting it so when you move it to uh, increase your time setting you are adjusting the backstop position and this is the uh, strip contact. Means whenever it touches this uh, mo movable contact touches the strip contact, then your circuit breaker is operated. Okay. So this is the way to conduct this experiment. Uh, I uh, I hope uh, you are understanding this, right? And uh, uh, now, <coughs> now uh, let us uh, see uh, what I can say. Now let us uh, let us see uh, what, uh, what I want you to do is that uh, I will share this uh, table uh, uh, this thing with you and uh, you can uh, you can just go through this and uh, uh, this experimental manual manual will be sent to you and you can go through the theory and procedure and conduct this experiment as per the lecture given now. Okay, so uh, for writing the uh, for completing yeah this is the thing so for, for completing the record. Uh, you can uh, take out those. Uh, this is already done. If you have, have some correction, you can go, do that with this thing. And now, over current relay characteristics, you have to write aim, equipment details, theory, and uh, uh, then what uh, about the connection diagram, which is already discussed here. Then the working of over current relay, then procedure, then observation table. This is what is expected. Okay. Your plex setting is always 2.5 ampere, and plex setting multiplier you change from what 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 up to 5, 6. Like this, you will have three sets of reading. Relay current will, uh, you will get as per what if you multiply it with this, you will get the relay current. Then the operating time also you have to note down. Between the plex setting multiplier and x axis and the operating timing is like in the uh, y axis, you have to uh, draw your graph for the three sets. Okay. And uh, that you can do, uh, that you can do in MATLAB. Okay. Just using the plot command. 
uh, see uh, means when, when since you have already gone through the matlab on ram you know if you have three set of readings how to plot the graph okay the, the axis should be labeled clearly and you should attach that graph uh, in your lab uh, record okay then uh, this is the uh, uh, this book is the uh, you can go through if you want uh, for understanding more on the overcurrent relay protection okay now now that's about experiment 2 i think you will be able to do it uh, clearly and uh, uh, then uh, after this uh, we will have a viva session and uh, afterwards we will get into experiment 3 which will be more about simulation rather than this virtual experiments thank you